Hello everyone, welcome to Blackheath Flower Club demo. I hope you had a nice Christmas and a happy new year. Um, today I'm going to be demoing tour modern arrangements. So I've made two arrangements already and I'm going to demo the other one. Um, uh, also in this demonstration I've used very ordinary containers. So this this arrangement on the left uses an old wooden container that I had that had bulbs in it. And all I've done is put two squares of cellophane one over the other like this and then put it inside the pot so when it comes up you get nice pointed bits around the edge. And that's very useful for covering your floral foam. It's the same in this other arrangement. Um, this arrangement is in an old chocolate box with cellophane in it. So the cellophane is to hold the damp floral foam. Let's have a look at this arrangement first. So I've used some white sprayed twigs for height and most of the placements in a modern arrangement go straight up and down and then in the corners are various bits of foliage. That's really the basic way to do this modern arrangement that I'm showing you. And then on this other one on the right we've got Pussy Willow which is just about out in the garden now and this time this one has some bark crossing one corner and foliage in the other. And the way I secured the bark into that foam was to use a piece of aluminium wire taken round the bark, twisted so it's tight, and then as we've done in wreaths, just making a little loop it's also called a leg but what it means is when you make a loop shape when you push it into the floral foam it will stay there so that's how i secured the, the bark on that corner and in this one i've just used some flax leaves that i had and i've folded them over like this and all i did <coughs> Sorry, I'll show you in a moment. We'll staple it diagonally in the middle. And I've used a tall one, a medium sized one, and a small one into the corner to fill up that space. So that's what these are here. Okay. And here's, here's the one I'm going to demo. Um, this is in an old ice cream pot that I've just put some tape around. I've put my piece of wet oasis inside and I don't need to tape it because it's quite uh, secure here. And just to help you with where the placements of things go, I would suggest that you, with a little knife, draw across four quarters so you've got the four quarters to fill. And then a diagonal line that you're going to follow as well. That will become clear as I carry on today. Okay, we'll start with some mother-in-law's tongue. So I'm going to put these, sorry, I'm going to put the tallest at the back, straight up and down. Test it secure. And then another one. And then another one. So they're placed very vertical near the back of the arrangement. Now this, this arrangement I've 
gone away from this vertical theme a little bit because I've got a very beautiful curved branch. So I'm going to be putting this in and hoping that it makes a nice shape when I put it in. Also the side of the container helps support it. So can you see I've got this straight line and then I've got this curve and that's the main shape of this arrangement. I think I'll just move this slightly out of the way. All right. Now, following that diagonal line, I'm using these stripped roses going down from one side to the other. I've already cut them different lengths, but you'll have to work this out yourself. I've got five roses. And I'm getting a flower, a stalk, a flower, a stalk down in steps. I'm trying to make them as straight as possible. And here's number four. And I'll turn this round when I do the last one. The last one you want to push right down using the head of the rose so that you've covered this corner here. This is not behaving, it's better. All right, now I've got another quarter to fill here. And I'm, I'm doing all the vertical placements because you don't want to get the foliage to stop you pushing these placements in. So in this last quarter that I'm doing, I'm doing one tall lily and two shorter ones. Here they go, and the red and the pink looks quite nice together. <laughs> I'm giving myself a difficulty here with this big twig. Keep turning it around. Right, let's hope for the best. Um, now then, I'm filling the corners with foliage, so I find that if you have a short one and I'm pushing into the side of the foliage, and again here, two short ones, and then a slightly bigger one on the top of the foam to fill one quarter. Um, and then here, instead of lots of foliage, I've got one piece of spray chrysanthemum, which will do very nicely because it's quite leafy. Once I push it down low, that will cover that piece of foam. And if there is any bit showing, I've got another piece here. Oops. And then I've got some Eliagnus out of my garden for this side. Cut short again and I'm going to go into the side. Into the side. On the top. You'll have longer to do this than me, obviously. You'll probably make it a bit better. So that's three of the quarters covered. And now the last part, I've got some moss pins to put some ivy leaves in the last quarter. So I'm going to In fact, I need to move this. This is a tiny bit in my way. I'm just going to overlap these leaves. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And push them under the 
those flower. Right, so that is the last placement there. And I chose the twigs and I chose the um, mother-in-law's tongue because there's not a lot around that you can do an arrangement with and make it cheaper. So using twigs, using indoor plant leaves, this piece of gravia is dried from Christmas. That will reduce the cost if you're trying to do something. Okay, that's everything.